part of the truth movement has to be it has to be individual truth. Right? We walk around, we're all we're all confident and all sure of ourselves and all um, we all have the answer, right? The reality is that that the the vast majority of people are in America are overworked, underpaid. They they we no longer have that mobility. The expenses are too high, and there's not enough income, right? So you don't have this you don't have this boom in culture, this this uh, communication in the arts anymore, right? And uh, that's that's my uh, that's my current exploration right now, for whatever reason. Is to explore that um, that uh, that void. That um, it's it's a feeling. I think it's a feeling of kind of uh, entrapment, and and it causes you to it causes you to to lay down your arms because you're you're weak and you're tired, and you want to lay down your gun, but you also you know, you want to continue to fight, but it's like there's only there's only so many minutes in the day. Right? See, that's the that's the truth. That's the truth in most people's lives, and that's the truth that um, yeah, we we see the truth and the corruption and 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 the the, the disgusting level of income and wealth inequality, and but it, this is how it stays in place. Because the unions have been busted, right? There's no more unionization. There's no more representation of workers. So, I don't know. It's just a moment of clarity in, in terms of uh, there's universal truth and and uh, truth truth for all people and truth in politics. But there's also personal truth where one must take care of their health. One must take care of their mental. Uh, their mental stability and such. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from Jones's Farm. Peace.